Yeah, it feels great. Uh, I know like a lot of guys were bombed out, obviously, last year. COVID hit. Um, this time of year, we were at home on our couch. Didn't have any lacrosse to watch, didn't really have any sports to watch. Um, a lot of people were kind of just trapped indoors, able to at least work out and stuff and do a little bit of that. So it feels great now that we're back. Um, it's been kind of a weird season, but the guys have been resilient, I think, in terms of sacrificing things such as social life or just kind of staying within our team's own bubble. And now that things are finally opening up, it's a great time. Um, been able to get some bigger crowds uh, at the final few games here. And it's just it's it's been a really awesome experience uh, being able to finally like be back, be competing. And now there's a chance to go to the final four on the line this Sunday against Maryland. So I guess kind of a funny story, um, like how I ended up in Notre Dame. But with lacrosse, uh, I just kind of picked it up when I think I started in sixth grade. Um, I coach Tommy Schrader. It's my one of my it was one of my best friends. Older brothers was the coach. So I was like, this is awesome. We get to play for your older brother. Um, I don't really know much about the sport, but it sounds like a good time. And then I just kind of fell in love with it. Um, my mom got annoyed because I just throw the ball against the wall all the time. Um, chipped off some paint in our house as a kid. But it's uh, yeah, I just fell in love with it. And then I played throughout grade school and I really got into it in high school. I went to Rockers for two years. And then uh, to pursue a, a career in college across, I actually transferred to a boarding school, Clover Military Academy. It was kind of taking the lacrosse up a notch. Um, but in, in, uh, in, and I was actually originally committed to Brown University. Um, and I was kind of like, you know, I don't want to go to Notre Dame. I don't want to do that whole whole thing because they weren't necessarily recruiting me at first. Um, and then they finally came back after my junior year um, and at that point offered me and I immediately accepted uh, and it's been a great decision. Um, so yeah, I guess I, I, I didn't get the swimming jeans that my dad had or anything, but I fell in love with lacrosse and ended up in the right spot. And I think I made the, uh, the best decision I've loved every moment at Notre Dame. Kansas City is so special. The people um, are so special everywhere I've traveled and stuff that lacrosse has brought me. Um, I always want to come back home and uh, the lacrosse community is also growing in Kansas City. So it's been awesome to see that over the years. And I don't know, I hope me being at Notre Dame now, um, there's not a lot of uh, like a lot of kids going to Division One for, for lacrosse these days from Kansas City. And I, I just hope that that can help inspire the next generation because there's so many talented athletes and kids in the Kansas City area.